Did you want to break any remaining semblance of balance that your copy of Bravely Second might have? Yes? Then you've come to the right video because this build is just downright disgusting. As much as I love this game, there is a lot of overpowered stuff in it. One such setup is known as the Ghost Mage build, and today we're going to go over it. Now as the name implies, the build focuses around two aspects, the Ghost State Assailment and Magic. Let's quickly go over what Ghost does before moving on. Ghost is a status ailment new to Bravely Second. When you're affected, it wipes out the player and they are technically treated as being knocked out. They can't be targeted, keyword here being targeted, by allies or enemies, their health is set to zero, and if all other non-affected party members go down, then it will be a game over. However, there are two actions someone in Ghost form may take, Default and Magic. Why on earth they allowed magic is beyond me, but it is that, paired with the 0 HP rule, that makes this build possible. Keep them in mind as we move on. Now on to the actual setup. First you must get three of your party members put into ghost mode. This can most easily be done by equipping the exorcist ability ectoplasm to these three, and then allowing them to die in a battle, and then running away with one person left. You can speed this up by giving them Dark Knight commands for the time being, and lowering their health until they get slapped. Once you have your three ghosts, it's time to give them the tools to become Cancers. All three will be given Time Magic as a secondary command, but for the primary job, give one of these ghosts Wizard and the other two Yokai. The last member of the team, who is not a ghost, should be made as tanky as possible, with jobs like Knight, Guardian, etc, or some kind of setup that will keep that person alive all the time. If they die, your team will lose, they need to stay up. Kaiser is a good side pick for this job, as you'll see in a bit, and if you do do that, take Prescience. To the wizard! With Spellcraft as their passive, give them MP free in a pinch, Barrage, and Ventriloquism. Equipment should be anything to increase magic attack, but perhaps save your better equipment for the other two ghosts. As for them, having Echo as their passives, you want to give them MP Free and Barrage as well, but instead of Ventriloquism, give them Chain Spell. You might see where this is going, and you're probably right. I really hate that you can do this. So how do you use this crazy party? Well, at the start of a turn, have your wizard cast Meteor from Time Magic and Spellcraft it with Rain then cast Meteor two more times. For the other two ghosts, simply cast Meteor four times each, and if you took a Kaiser, use Noble Eagle and perhaps Spring Awakening. Now let's break down the mess that's happening on your screen. The Kaiser will pop off to start, buffing your party by giving them 200% magic attack from Noble Eagle, one of the only ways you can buff a ghost, since it applies to the battlefield, not to a person directly. Next, the wizard fully braves out and casts three Meteor Rains. They only get three off because one action slot is reserved to rain after the first Meteor, but it's the only one that's needed. Why? Because Ventriloquism applies a spellcraft command that is used to all following spells on that turn, including to other allies, which means that the four Meteors being cast by the Yokai Ghosts are now Meteor Rains too most powerful damage spell you can do. Seriously, this thing rips through enemies like a hot knife in butter. Oh, but we're not done here yet. Even though you're already hitting them likely 11 times to max damage, thanks to Barrage and the Noble Eagle buff, you still have the other abilities to take care of. Chain Spell and Echo. Chain Spell is a guaranteed proc because when you cast one spell, it gives you a second cast for free. Echo also follows suit where upon any spell cast by the ability holder, you get a 25% chance to recast it for free as well. Perhaps we should do a little math to find the average amount of damage one can do because this is getting really messy. Now a cast of Meteor Rain hits the opponent four times, and hopefully with the proper equipment and buffs, each hit is landing for 9,999. Let's just round up to 10k for convenience. Now we separate Wizard and Yokai damage. Wizard is easy, it's just three casts of Meteor Rain. Moving on, each Yokai casts Meteor Rain four times. Then, Chain Spell doubles that to eight each, or 16 together. Now, Echo has a 25% chance of going off on each of those, so averaging it out, we can get an extra four casts from that. But wait, there's more! Echo can... Ugh. Echo can proc off of itself. 
So another 25% chance, and we have one extra cast, putting us up to 21 casts of Meteor Rain from the Yokais. Add this to the 3 from the Wizard, and we have a total of 24 Meteor Rains cast this turn. Each of those spells hit 4 times, so 24 times 4 is 96. If each of those do max damage, we are looking at 960,000 damage in one turn alone. Just under 1 million damage. That's insane. That's the average. Let's just do a little bit of theory crafting then, shall we? Let's go with the assumption that on the Yokai's, all of the original 16 spells proc Echo. So that's another 16 spells, then four more on top of that, and one more after that, still assuming the 25% proc rate. 16 plus 16 plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 37 casts! Adding to the wizard's 3, we have 40 casts of Meteor Rain now. 40 times 4 is 160 hits, which equates to 1.6 million damage. Yeah, this is not okay. What was that? You wouldn't have enough MP to keep this up? Well, that's where the MP free in a pinch comes in. See, since they're all ghosts, their HP is zero. And MP free and makes spells cost zero MP when your health is below 25%. So it goes off on every single cast. Y you see why I kind of don't like this build now? It's absurdly overpowered and it can kill almost anything with relative ease. Ugh, well, that's all I've got. I hope you enjoy your new ridiculously broken team combo. If you have any requests or ideas for future videos, share them in the comments on Twitter or in my Discord. Links in the description. As for me, I'm gonna go find some hard object to bang my head against for a few hours to forget that this build exists, hopefully. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.